Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Grip Company's uh, YouTube channel. So I wanted to go over a knot that we use in the, in the industry. Uh, this is the clove hitch. It's one of the top three knots that we use constantly. Every day on set, you are going to use this knot. You need to know how to tie this thing blindfolded behind your back without fail. A clove hitch is absolutely necessary to know as a grip. So uh, I'll show you the way that I tie it. Um, uh, this would be a pipe that we're hanging, let's say we're on stage and we've dropped lines in from uh, the perms and the guy on the ground is going to go by and tie on the pipe and then they're going to bring it up to a working height and tie on the rag. So this is the knot you would use at the bottom if you're the guy on the ground tying the pipe. You're going to throw your line over the pipe that you're working on, whether it's below you or above you, it doesn't matter. Uh, you're going to cross over the line from right to left, you're gonna go over the pipe and back through the hole that you just created in the center. So he went over, and now you've got this little hole right here in the center. You're gonna come back up through that hole on the same side of the line that you are. Hold tight. This is the telltale sign that you have done a clove hitch right. You've got one line crossing over on a 45 degree angle. The other two lines are parallel to each other and going in separate directions. That is it, that is a clove hitch. You always, always, always back a clove hitch with a half hitch, which is just a regular overhand knot, which I can't tie right now for some reason. <laughs> uh, let's do that again. So just a standard overhead, or I'm sorry, overhand knot. You always wanna leave enough tail. I use four fingers as a guide if I don't have four fingers there, then it's too short. Uh, it can be too long. You don't want to go too long because you'll end up having it hanging into the rag and it can be seen if it's a solid for a backdrop or something like that. Um, I'll show you a quick couple variations of this knot. So <clears throat> at the end of a pipe, imagine this is the end of the 20 foot rag. The last rope on the line is going to be somewhere in the last six inches there or so, hopefully. And in that situation, I would always tie a double clove. So here's how you tie it. You're gonna go over through that same hole, but this time you're gonna go over again and then come back through that same hole one more time. You're gonna pull tight. And again, you're gonna have the same look, a line crossing over, but this time it's gonna cross over three lines. You still wanna back it with a half hitch. You still wanna make sure you've got your enough tail there and then <clears throat> this this knot actually doesn't want to move as much so it's like a boa constrictor it just grabs onto that pipe and doesn't slide as much so this is a great one for the end of the line um let's say you got to tie a clove on something that you know it's difficult to to get to or you you know you have an available end but um for whatever reason you don't want to tie it the regular way there is a quick way to slide a clove on. So you're gonna go create loops in the rope, right? So you're gonna go over, right to left. You're gonna create another one, over, right to left. The right one is gonna go behind the left one. You slide it on and you pull, and what do you got? You've got that same diagonal going over. Now notice, this one's actually going the opposite direction as that. That's fine. It's a left hand versus a right hand. It's not a big deal. Either one is, is perfectly acceptable, but you always want to make sure that you've got that. So again, back it with a hitch and you are done. So that is a clove hitch. Hope that helps. Like and subscribe, guys.